Hello, my name is Indrich Liška and I'm senior researcher at ENTIS European Center of Excellence at the University of West Bohemia in Pilsen. My today's presentation will be devoted to the topic of advanced condition monitoring of turbine rotors and especially to detection and localization of a rotor stator contact. The rotor stator contact or rubbing has become a pretty common phenomenon in terms of steam turbine operation in the last couple of years. The reason is that clearances in flow paths of the turbines get smaller and smaller along efforts towards efficiency increase. In the first phase, there are especially seals arranged between the rotating and stationary parts of the turbines that are abraded. And as a result, the amount of leaking medium increases and therefore the turbine efficiency decreases. This rubbing can be divided into two main groups. The so-called partial contact, where the rotor is not in constant contact with the stator and appears only for a relatively short time. And the second type is the full annular rub, which is characterized by the continuous contact of the rotor and stator. This type is further divided by the precession to full wrap with forward precession, also known as a dry whirl, and full wrap with backward precession, the so-called dry whip. Dry whip is very dangerous for rotating machinery because of its self-excited vibrations. Very often the light wrap results in an operation of seals and in most cases fades away. It begs the question, why monitor rubbing in turbines? The answer is that the rest of rub cases are a serious malfunction of the machine and can lead at high risk to the catastrophic machine failure. More intensive contact signifies the heating of the rotor in the contact location and results in the rotor mechanical deformation. In some cases, the rub may rapidly deteriorate and cause the catastrophic breakdown of the machine when the rubbing is not early detected. It will not only interrupt electricity production and services, but also results in indispensable economical loss. The RAMS, RAP Advanced Monitoring System, is an advanced diagnostic system, which is a high technology device being capable to detect the origin and occurrence of the rotor state or RAP real time, and in parallel, very accurately determine the place where the rub occurs from standard signals of shaft displacement and stator vibration measured on steam turbines. The presented developed diagnostic system rubs thus utilizes standard range of installation of transducers for measurement of vibrations of steam turbines. RAMS functionality is based on the fact that apart from the change of the vector of the first harmonic component of the vibration signals, the RAP is also accompanied by formation of subsynchronous spectral components whose frequencies correspond to a number of impacts of the rotor to the stator rotation period. The system makes it possible to detect uh, relatively risky or unsafe operating conditions of steam turbines and consequently reveal causes of these conditions. The developed device is globally unique. Early and automatic detection and localization of the rotostator wrap which the system carries out is unavailable in terms of current machine and monitoring systems of steam turbines. The RAMS has up to 32 channels with high 24-bit resolution, which enables to evaluate the contact type and its intensity. The RAMS software was written in LabVIEW and offers an understandable visualization of diagnostic features, orbits, full cumulative spectra, phasers, and much more. The software allows also to define triggers for signal streaming to storage medium for potential and detailed offline signal analysis and evaluation. The RAMS is able to monitor all the turbine operation states such as run up, run down, various load levels or turning gear operation. The RAMS localization function is capable of axial and also circumferential determination of contact point. 
The RAMS uses existing sensors, which are the standard equipment of the turbine monitoring. In most of cases, the buffered outputs from the installed turbine monitoring system are used as RAMS inputs. For each measurement plane, a couple of relative shaft vibration sensors and one absolute bearing vibration sensor is used. This is an example of RAMS usage as a mobile device, which is placed in the rack of MMS monitoring system from Emerson. The RAMS is installed either as a mobile device, which is connected to the buffered outputs from the turbine monitoring system, or as a part of the monitoring system rack. Here in the slide, it is an example of 24 channel RAMS connection to the MMS monitoring system from Emerson again. Uh, this type uh, of installation is a long-term installation. Uh, the next slide, uh, we have also experience with RAP monitoring connection of RAMS to the COMPASS diagnostic system from Pure and Care. As you can see in the picture, it was mobile installation and the problem to solve was the RAP occurrence during the cold starts of the steam turbine. And the last example of installation shows another connection to the VM600 monitoring device from Vibrometer. As I have already mentioned, uh, the RAMS is able to localize the place of contact. This example shows uh, RAP localization in the high pressure part of the 220 megawatt steam turbine. The symptoms of shaft and blade rubbing were successfully detected and measured by the RAMS monitoring system during the steam turbine operation in the year 2012. The symptoms of the rub were significant and simultaneously detected in three measured planes and consequently the rub origin localization was performed. In the picture, you can see the resulting axial local localization of the shaft rubbing in form of histogram. The histogram column width is 50 millimeters, 5 centimeters. It can be seen that the scheme of the HP part of the turbine in the background and also several rotating blades stages are noticeable in the figure. The measurement planes are also highlighted and marked. Uh, bearing vibrations were measured on bearing pans. According to the obtained results, the highest occurrence of the rubbing impacts was between the fourth and the sixth bladed wheel. The variance of the obtained results is caused by the noise in measured signals and also as it was found by the turbine inspection the rub occurred on slightly different places depending on the operation deflection shape of the rotor. In summer of 2012 the uh, high pressure part of the turbine was opened and the estimated places of rub were inspected. The results from the axial localization presented above were in full accordance with the results of inspection. Uh, between the fourth and the sixth bladed wheel, there were the most significant damages of the seals and abraded spheral break. Except the axial localization, there is also need to localize the contact place on the circumference of the turbine stator. An approximate tangential localization is possible when using signals from both absolute stator and relative shaft vibration sensors. When fusing the information from the sensors of absolute and relative vibrations, the angle of the maximum rub intensity could be obtained. The method is based on the representation of the rotor motion in the measured plane from the relative shaft vibrations and orbit of the rotor motion is reconstructed. The time behavior of mean amplitudes in selected frequency bands, it means the wrap characteristic values, can be taken into account when rendering the filtered orbit of the rotor motion. The time synchronization is ensured by the key phaser. 
In the right bottom picture, the results of tangential localization for blade wrap is shown. The upper part shows the waveform of average amplitudes versus time. At the bottom, the filter's first harmonic orbit corresponding to the signal of shaft vibration is displayed. The amplitude of the characteristic frequencies is scaled in colors where blue corresponds to the minimum amplitude and red is the maximum value. From this representation, it is evident when the highest intensity of the contact between the rotor and stator occurs and then it is only a matter of processing to automatically evaluate the angle of maximum wrap intensity. The identified circumferential angles were also confirmed by the turbine inspection in the summer of 2012. The RAMP system is also associate, associated with additional services which are associated with the Viber diagnostics based on advanced signal processing and analysis. The RAMP's signal achieved also allows to perform a customer-defined data analysis. The recently developed module for RAMS also enables to use RAMS for monitoring of rotor blades. The blade nature frequencies propagating along the shaft are monitored through the existing shaft proximity sensors. The new module detects the blades, vibration, amplitude and frequency changes in turbo generator operation. Aim of the blade monitoring is to detect the initial phase of the rotor blade failure. So, a brief summary as a presentation conclusion. The RAMS RAP Advanced Monitoring System primarily detects and localizes rubbing in turbines. The R&D team of the Diagon Laboratory has successfully implemented the system on 12 steam turbines and two gas turbines in Czech Republic, Slovakia, Germany and Turkey. The technology is currently registered for patenting in the Czech Republic, in Europe and in the United States of America. The RAMS provides localization of the RAP with centimeter accuracy. This fact significantly reduces duration of forced outage since it is known in advance where exactly the RAP is. Moreover, Planning of repair can be much more detailed because of the same reason. From the steam turbine operation point of view, the developed technology serves as an excellent early alert system that prevents steam turbines from wreckage pretty easily caused by the wrap when not revealed on time. Thank you for your attention.